Hello everybody, my name is Travis and welcome to the Foxhole Plays channel. Today we are going to be playing Star Fox Zero, a game I have played multiple times over and over. And, you know, I sped ran this game, I, I have speed run this game, I've played this game multiple times, even for casual purposes. And, you know, this is a game that I really like and, you know, I want to share my experience, I guess, with the game. And try to give maybe a little bit of information about it, you know in terms of like basically from a speedrunner's point of view on certain things that I remember and just basically complete the, game, complete the game as fast as possible and just you know have fun with it now what we're gonna be doing is is that we're not gonna be playing the main game we're gonna actually go to arcade mode since I've already beaten the game and what arcade mode basically in incorporates is that you play the game with a single life and you try to go through the entire of all the levels I mean I think if you get like three gold rings you get an extra life but that's about it and if you die after that that's it the run is over so as you can see I have completed this game before in 29 minutes and 23 seconds back in the day back in like in April I think it was I was actually the world record holder for about a week or so for this game, doing it under 29, under 20, under 30 minutes. So the 29, 23 back in April was really good. I think now it's like at 22 minutes now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But you know, now I think I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm like number 10 or number 11 now on the world record leaderboard, and I'm pretty darn proud of myself still for being able to beat this game in under 30 minutes. Now, grant you, we're not gonna be beating this game in under 30 minutes during this let's play. Because we're going to be watching the cutscenes and we're going to be going ahead and trying to play the game in a third person perspective with some first person views. Because for me, as a speedrunner, I would always play this game in first person view because the cutscenes, the camera locking for like cinematic scenes would happen and it would just cause a. It would just cause it to where you couldn't do much and for a speedrun, that is valuable time that you can set up for different things. So, without further ado, we're going to get straight into this. We're going to talk about Star Fox. I'm going to give you a little bit of my history about Star Fox. And, yeah, we're going to have a good conversation, I think. And at the same point in time, I'm going to go ahead and explain stuff like the motion controls and why they're actually not as bad as what people like to make them out to be. So, without further ado, let's get started. Starting from the beginning. Now saving. Star Fox! There's the logo. And here's our first cutscene. Entering Corneria's orbit. <sighs> it's been too long. Uh oh, looks like trouble down there. Urgent message from General Pepper. Star Fox, do you read me? We're under attack from Andros's army. We need your help immediately! Guess we'll have to save the sightseeing for another time. Check your G diffuser system. And right here, we're just gonna go ahead and skip this. Because we don't need to do the little tutorial part. We're just gonna get straight into the game. And before we get to say anything, you have to shoot Falco here because Falco brings luck. Basically, at every speed run I would do, I would shoot Falco because it would be the lucky thing to do. Because I don't know what it is. If I never shot him, I would never get the luck for the rest of the game. So right now, we're just going to go straight through. This is Corneria. One of the easiest levels to actually speed run. But, you know, like I said, I, this is going to be a little bit difficult for me. Because, like, I'm not in first person view. I'm in third person right here. Like, oh, you see? Like, this is a little bit more difficult for me in a sense because I like this view. This is the view that I like. I like seeing this because I like seeing everything that's coming in front of me, not just seeing the plane and such as this. But, you know, we're going to try to play this a little bit more casually than actually speedrunning it. And just have some fun, like I was saying. But no, to get started with my Star Fox story, I guess. Uh, first Star Fox game I ever played was Star Fox on the Super Nintendo. One of my most favorite games of all time on the Super Nintendo. Actually, oh, I used to have friends who used to come over to the house because they didn't have a Super Nintendo. They had like Sega Genesis at the time, which, uh, let's just be honest here, I became a Sega fan after a Nintendo fan. Because Sonic the Hedgehog, to me, is still better. 
but thing was is that you used to have friends come over, you used to play Star Fox every single day from school. Like, we'd go to school, come back home, first thing play was Star Fox. Star Fox this, Star Fox that. Always trying to see if we could find like new little secrets, Easter eggs, stuff like that. It was it was good times, it was good memories for me. And it wasn't till like, you know, later in the future stuff of uh, different things would happen. Okay, I was just making sure that I had that bomb right there because that bomb's very important right there. Otherwise, I would have to wait till the ship would come in front of me and shoot all of them off. What's that? Oh, what's that? That looks like it's a warp hole right there, Fox. It appears to be a teleporter. Oh, a teleporter. Okay, Might excuse me. Enemy activity on the other side. Like the one at the colony, huh? Better check it out. I'm going in. Yes, totally go into a, a hole, a teleporter that you don't know where you're gonna go at. Totally seems legit logical. It totally seems completely safe. One minute and 51 seconds. That's actually not a bad time, but you can actually complete the stage in like one minute and 32 seconds or like 30 seconds. I used to do that all the time on this. But that's because I was running it casually. We caused that. But you know, yeah, I was playing Star Fox as a kid with my friends and everything, and that's kind of where you know everybody would call me Fox because hey, it's Fox McCloud because I was really good at it. Where am I? Unable to pinpoint your location due to lingering effects from the space-time war. And here's our first boss. Now I'm gonna have to switch to first person view in this because trying to do this in third person sucks and I like to have it on the big screen. I do not like using the tablet whatsoever. So what we gotta do is destroy these little guys here first on the top and we can actually destroy all of them pretty fast. If you didn't realize this you could actually do this right here. You go one. This is why you need platinum lasers for this reason right here. Put your brakes on right here. Go. Duck. Keep going as far as you can go really quickly. Right now, I just want to concentrate before I get back on my story. Because this is a good fight right here. Oh, no, man. I just hit it. I didn't time it right. I didn't time it right. It's okay. This is okay, though. Hit that. that get my boost up get ready to dodge and what you want to do sometimes is pulse boost because it does help go a little bit slightly faster because rid of buffing it did do this yeah 116 I'm never gonna live this down. Yeah, that's not bad that right. rather have it at 110 though I'm a little bit I I'm six seconds over my time on that Mission complete! You defeated the boss. Loading target, see? So 308 is our time right now. So if I could, if I would have to guess, I would say we'd probably beat this game within about 40 minutes. About 40 to 45 minutes. If we go with in-game time. So yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and do the next mission. I, I would have paused right here, but you know what? We're going to do the next mi mission right here. We're going to go ahead and do Zonus. Because here we can choose our, our area. We can go to area 3, but the fastest route, if you want to do this under speedrunner route, the fastest route is actually the top route. If we go to the complete top route right here, and then we go to Star Wolf, then at that point in time, this is the fastest route you can do. So let's go straight to Zonus right now. Which, this is a different uh, version of it. Because when you first play Star Fox Zero, I think you get into a gyrocopter with Rob. With like a little bitty Rob robot and you gotta do all this like sneaking mission stuff. Well, you know what? Screw sneaking. We are some bad ass furries that is going to go straight into this. And it's going to be the masters of everything. 
We're gonna go third, and I really hate this third person view though. I really hate it because I keep wanting to look at the ship and I want to see it in front of me so bad. Oh man, this is bad. See, this is pulse boosting right here, which makes everything slightly faster. I'm gonna try to use this tablet right here in front of me to see really quickly. There we go. But no. Star Fox Zero is actually a really good game in, in the entire tone. And what I was talking about before, about like my friends and everything, and you know, my friends actually started to use to call me Fox because they're like, oh my gosh, you're really good at this, man. Because I was the only guy in the time, oh my god, the only kid in the time, that actually was able to go ahead and beat Star Fox Zero's hard uh, route. Oh, come on. Give me in the door. Give me in the door. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I got, I got to pay attention to this tablet, and it's kind of hard to pay attention to the tablet. Okay, so. Come on. I want to go. I want to turn it to ship, please. Thank you. And then we need to turn it to chicken walker form right here. And then I should be able to land around the platform. And then we're going to turn this on here. Do this. There we go. Get this right here really quickly. There we go. And you see, that's actually not that hard. I mean, like I said, if, if you really want to see me uh, actually play this properly as a speedrunner thing, leave a comment below. Say, hey, look, I want to actually see you speedrun this, not just play this casually. And I'll show you the speedrun side of what I can do with this game. But you'll be stuck in this viewpoint like this right here. Which I'm going to take that off for you guys right now, so that way you guys can get the third point perspective. And we're going to go ahead and take rid of this. We're going to throw a bomb right here. Get rid of this guy right here really quickly. Go ahead, dash in there. Go through this. It's going to do all this right here really quickly. Hurry up, do this. Hit the somersault. And then hit chicken walker form right here. And then we should be getting to this panel right here really quickly. But yeah, my friends used to call me Fox because I was a little good at the game and everything like I was saying before. And it was just because, you know, I, I would spend all my time playing this game. I would just have so much fun playing Star Fox on the Super Nintendo, just having none but fun with it. Because Star Fox was cool, man. Man, I even had the Star Fox watch from the cereal box. That's how, that's how addicted I was to Star Fox. And then Sonic came along afterwards and everything, and then... You know, when I had the N64, I was the happiest kid there was because Star Fox 64! Oh man, that was a cool game! Yeah, now we gotta evacuate. It was like, oh my gosh, that was so cool back then. Then later, series came out like Star Fox Assault, the Star Fox Adventures, all this. And, you know, those games, I'm gonna be honest with you, didn't really appeal to me as much as like Star Fox 64 because it didn't feel like Star Fox 64. I mean, to me, Crystal ruined Star Fox because it's like, yo, this is the boys game. This is the, this is like the boys only club. No girls allowed. And, well, that's and the love interest stuff that didn't pan out with me. That's kind of the reason why I kind of like this game a lot more. It's just because this game does present that old factor of life. It brings that old ideal it brings that, like, that feeling of, like, 64. And this is a reboot of 64, basically, and that's what it does. So, what I'm going to end up doing here is I'll continue my story in the next episode about, like, you know, about Star Fox and then how it actually affected something very personal to me, in a sense. So... If you guys want to check that out and hear like how Star Fox actually helped me create the name Clara Fox Soul and actually how it doned me as Fox and stuff like this and what else is done for me, check out in the next episode. We're going to go straight to Sector B. We're going to go fight Star Wolf and did Fortuna and did fight Star Wolf one more time and we're going to have a blast. So until the next episode, guys, thank you so much for watching and... Please leave a like, please leave a comment, and please subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, guys, I will catch you all on the flip side, and have a good one. Peace.